negative temperatures in Connecticut are a rarity. Last night we broke the negative 10 mark and I wound up with ice in my bedroom along with some ice nonsense on the wall and some condensation and ice. Yeah, that's an ice chunk in the house because through that wall there's some kind of air leak to the outside that's apparently so bad that condensation from the inside having a little more moisture than the outside from either the humidifiers, me taking showers, or both condensed and froze inside the house. Yeah, I should probably wipe this up when it dries or when everything melts later this week. <sighs> we'll be letting the landlord know about this, of course. But I guess there's a first time for everything. I've seen cold weather before, but ice on the trim in the bedroom? That's definitely different. But wait, there's more. Pardon the roll because I'm using LED light. Is that snow on the floor in my closet? <laughs> yes, there is water on the floor in the closet because there was snow and ice over here too. Uh, I better get in here with a towel. Yeah, there's an air leak somewhere through the wall. There's an air leak somewhere through the wall. And this is, I don't know if this is snow from outside, but there's an air leak somewhere through the wall. That might have something to do with it. <laughs> it is going directly outside, and this exterior wall got so cold that stuff was melt, was condensing and freezing inside the house in the closet. Okay, time to grab a towel. <laughs> the house that Jack built sometimes. I like not having apartment neighbors, but sometimes I gotta wonder about what other things would I not have <laughs> like proper insulation yeah I'll go over this with the landlord later on multimedia J out